PCD family, Coach Melanie here. In today's brain break, we're gonna be working on our lower back. If you're like me and you're sitting a lot more than you usually do, I'm sure you're experiencing a little bit of stiffness and pain in that lower back. So we're gonna go through a series of stretches as well as exercises to help our hip and back mobility as well as some good posture habits. All right, so stand on up and let's get started. With your legs shoulder width apart, I want you to just sweep those arms up to your side, take a deep breath in through your nose, and deep breath out through your mouth. Same thing in, expanding those ribs, and push out. Deep breath in, feeling your lungs fill, and one last time, deep breath in, and out. All right, bringing it down to the ground, onto your hands and knees. We're gonna go through some cat-cow positions. So to start, I want you to tilt your hips back and up, as well as lift your chin up to the sky. On an exhale, I want you to round that back, rolling your hips forward and pushing your upper back up to the ceiling. Deep breath in, into a cow, so tilt those hips up, and cat rounding that back. Same thing again, so tilt those hips back and up to the ceiling. And exhale and round your upper back. Go through this a couple more times at the pace of your own breath. So this, uh, these positions will definitely increase that hip mobility, which will in turn reduce our lower back stiffness. And one more time, deep breath in and out. Awesome. Reach those hands a little bit forward, and I want you to sit back onto your heels now into a child's pose, stretching those shoulders. As you're here, I want you to relax your forehead on the ground, relax your seat against your heels, and just take again a couple more deep breaths. As you breathe in, you should feel your belly push against your thighs, and as you breathe out, it sinks. Deep breath in through your nose. And out. Take a couple more breaths here and just relax into this position. You can close your eyes or just soften your gaze and focus on your lungs expanding and releasing. Awesome. All right, we're bringing on up to a seated position now. You can either sit with your legs crossed or you can sit on your knees, whichever is most comfortable. Now, with your left hand, we're gonna put it behind your head your right arm is going to cross over, and on a deep breath in, I want you to tilt and lift that elbow up to the sky. Deep breath out and reset. So we're twisting and lifting that elbow up on a breath and relax. On this next one, I want you to hold at the top, so breathe in and just hold. Stretch into this position, really twisting that upper back and relax. Awesome, swapping those arms, so right hand behind your neck, left arm across, deep breath in, lifting your elbow up to the ceiling, and relax, back down, and again, twist it up to the sky, feeling your ribs expand, and breathe out, and one more time, let's hold it at the top, deep breath in, hold it right here, feeling some tension in your hand, gripping that knee, and just hold. All right, pop those hands onto your knees and this exercise will help improve our posture. So next time you're sitting at your desk, working or, you know, studying, I'd love for you to think about applying this exercise. So to start, I want you to roll those shoulders back and pinch your shoulder blades together. Good and just relax. On the next one, I want you to think about if I had a pencil between my shoulder blades, squeezing it tightly and not letting it drop. So pinching those shoulder blades together. Good, and relax. Same thing, so sitting up nice and tall, feeling our core lifting, back nice and straight, pinching those shoulder blades together, and relax. And one more time, bring those shoulder blades back, and relax. Rolling on over to our back now. With your legs bent, shoulder width apart. You can either relax your arms down by your side or you can pop them under your head, whichever is most comfortable for you. And to start, I want you to tilt your hips back so that you have space between your lower back and the ground. Now on an exhale, I want you to roll your hips underneath, pushing your core down to flatten your back. 
And let's go through that motion again. So tilt and roll it under. Deep breath in, lifting those ribs up, creating space in our lower back. Deep breath out and pushing our core down. You should feel some tightness in those abs. And again, deep breath in, tilt those hips back, and now roll them underneath. Yes. This exercise is great for strengthening and stabilizing our core. Lift and squeeze, roll it down, push those abs in. And let's go through this two more times. Squeeze, and last one. Deep breath in, and push it out. Now keeping your back nice and straight, this time I want you to firmly press those feet against the ground. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and lift them up, and then relax and slowly bring them down. Same thing, squeeze your glutes together, lifting up those hips off the ground, your lower back off the ground, and back down. Deep breath in, squeeze those hips, and down, keeping your back nice and straight. Let's go through this exercise a couple more times. So squeezing on the way up, nice and controlled on the way down. Again, we wanna make sure that lower back is nice and straight. We're not creating any arch. And just taking our time with this exercise. Let's go one last one. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's brain break. If ever you're feeling a little tension or stiffness in this lower back, I'd love for you guys to replay this video and add this into your daily stretching regime. See you guys soon.